Hey, hey, friends, it's Kelsey from Kelsey's Messy Bible here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel using this month's Faith Art Box to do a little Bible journaling. I'm going to be using the stuff from the kit and this awesome new stamp set to do this front page. The first thing I'm doing here is putting down a little bit of gesso, actually a lot of gesso. I squeezed way too much out, but that's okay. And uh, cover up the bleed through from the pen that I used on the other side of this page. I'm just kind of painting it in every which way, and then I gave it a really, really good dry before doing the fun technique that I have for you today. So using the stamp set and some acrylic paint, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun. I am using this Distress Ink Sugar Spun Ink. It is super light, and I am going to stamp it down here on the page after I prep this stamp a little bit. It's a brand new stamp, so with brand new steps, you want to prep it just a little bit before using it to help it stick a little bit better and to help the ink stick better. Uh, now I'm going to be stamping it on the page. You can really not see this in this part, but trust me, it's there. It's super light, and I wanted it to be super light because it's just the outline. It's just what I'm going to be using to help guide me on my painting journey. And I have both flower stamps on this ink block, and I'm using both of them, kind of alternating one on one side, one on the other. Now, I am putting down some colors that match the kit on my ink block, and I've got out some paint brushes. And using the two purples and the blue, I'm just going to blend them together to make the flowers just pop off the page in different ways. I'm using the blue and the two purples mostly, and then I will put the yellow in the centers. This is a slow process for me, and this was a time when I really just took some time to pray and took some time to talk to God. There are some big things happening in our lives right now and some decisions that we have to make and think about and process, and this was a time when I just kind of was asking God for guidance on all of those things while I was painting, and that's one of the things that I love the most about Bible journaling is that it's not just about the art. I say this often, it's about the heart. So now I've added the yellow into the middle and here comes the fun. I'm going to take my archival ink and I'm going to stamp right over the top of it and it's going to create just these really beautiful flowers and I love this look. I've been using this look in literally everything. I am obsessed with it and it's really fairly easy. So I am going to give that a really, really good dry with my heat gun off camera just so that everything is dry from the gesso to the paint to the ink, everything. And then I'm going to come in here with the stamp set and I immediately when reading through this kit thought of the song Fully Known by Taryn Wells. I believe that's who it's by. I will link it below. It plays on the Christian radio station in my car all the time. And the line in, is, in it is, fully known and loved by you. And I immediately knew that that's what I wanted to put down was this concept that I am fully known by God and I am loved by God. And I picked this space that I'm journaling in because this is one of the scenes where God talks about how if God can make the flowers of the field, which are here today and gone tomorrow, beautiful as they are, and he knows everything about them, when they will bloom, when they will grow, then how much more does he love us and he knows us, his children, the ones that he's called, the ones that he knows everything about. And I just loved that concept, especially coming from Jesus and him telling us this, that he knows us so intimately and so deeply and we are so loved by him that nothing can separate us from him. And that was just what I needed, a good reminder of this. And these stamp sets are so cute, and the flowers went so well with that that I just had to put it down. So once I had that all stamped down, the lyrics from that song, I got out my new favorite pens, my new favorite calligraphy pens, and I decided I was going to color in the letters a little bit and just give it a little bit of fun and a little bit of 
pizzazz and a little bit of color. So I just picked some colors again that match the kit and I went in with a black marker and the ones that were supposed to be filled in I filled in with black so that they were just a little bit uh, more stood out and then the ones that were a little bit more see-through the ones that I used the fun new alpha for um, I filled in with just a purple color purple colors to make them just really fun I absolutely loved how this page turned out it was such a fun page it was fairly easy. It took a good amount of time though because those flowers do take some time. I really sped it up in this video. But it was so fun to just get to sit there and play. And while I was playing, talk to God about some really hard things. Some really hard conversations that my family is having around some big topics. So I am just so excited to be doing this. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet on this channel, please do because the team uploads awesome content all the time. So hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time, friends. Bye-bye.